A portal can be defined as a passageway from one place to another. I invite you to join me in our search for a ghost portal, a portal by which the spirits may enter the land of the living and communicate with us that we might learn what it is that they have to say. So our search began at Willard Library, which is located in Evansville, Indiana. This library opened in 1885 and is the home of the famous Gray Lady Ghost. She was first seen in the early 1900s and has been seen by both librarians as well as visitors ever since. There have also been lesser known reports of a spirit portal and this is what we'll be searching for with a variety of tools. Tools which can both locate as well as communicate with spirit entities. Some of these tools have been in existence for centuries. The first of which is known as the tarot. Its origins are so ancient that there's dispute over the true source. One of the most esoteric etiological explanations is that the tarot was created by a group of magi after the great Alexandrian Library of Egypt burnt down and was lost forever. According to legend, the tarot was created as a book of mystical symbols that can be aligned with the building blocks of the cosmos. The pendulum is yet another arcane tool. The pendulum has often been used for location as well as communication with the spirits. This pendulum has been created with a key to serve the additional purpose as an opening tool. Then there's the EMF meter, a more modern tool. Spirit entities are reported to emit electromag electromagnetic frequency vibrations. According to ghost hunters, these frequencies register between two and seven milligauss, which can be measured on electromagnetic frequency meters, EMF meters for short. I'll be using my custom-made EMF meter, which only activates when EMF activity in that milligauss range is present in the immediate vicinity. Dowsing rods. Dowsing rods have been used since at least the 1500s and likely before that to locate underground water, precious metals, hidden treasure, thieves, electromagnetic fields, and for communicating with spirits from the great beyond. For our purposes, we'll be using dowsing rods to locate high levels of converging EMF fields which might suggest the presence of a spirit or ghost portal. According to library experts, the portal may be located along the south wall of the first floor. That is where we'll begin our search, using the dowsing rods. The rods indicated a significant force in the eastern corner of the original part of the building. Therefore, I used my pendulum to confirm the location of the portal. And in order to ensure the portal was completely activated, I used a known method for spirit gateway opening by combining the tarot card for transformation with the pendulum key. The energies combine to create an opening energy in this area. One additional measure I then used was to take a tarot snapshot of the area's vibrational reading.
the first card indicative of a journey, a change. This could easily refer to as the journey to the afterlife. The second card, the moon, meaning the hidden, the occult. And the third card is obvious. Taken together, these would indicate that this is an area of vibration that suggests a place of journey to the other side of the living. This portal opening happened to be on the night of a Pisces moon, a night when the full moon was in the house of Pisces and sat closest to Neptune. According to astrologers, this causes the amplification of psychic abilities and the creation of otherworldly energies. The energies of the opening also drew forth a person that was a paranormal sensitive. She was also serving as the floor librarian that fateful night. A sensitive is a person who can sense the presence of spirit energy. And in the old days, they were identified as potential spirit mediums. Though these particular tools were a first for her, she seemed to have an innate talent and was able to immediately use both pendulum and the dowsing rods to mm -hmm. confirm the location and activation oh of the interdimensional opening. That's the Isn't thing. it? Isn't it? And in her presence, the EMF meter was registering significant okay. spirit activity. She was a natural, so I let her oh, run with it. Spirits. There seemed to be multiple spirits present at the entrance of this portal and they seemed more than happy to communicate to us through both the dowsing rods and the EMF meter. So we said goodbye and we thanked the spirits for their participation. In the end, it appeared that we were able to locate what certainly seemed like a ghost portal and to confirm the activity with our occult science tools. And in the process, a spirit sensitive was drawn to the investigative work. You never know what the arcane mysteries will bring forth, especially on a dark night of a Pisces moon.